In the year 1900, the Victoria Chimes first sailed out of Chesapeake Bay. The ship had a different name then, Edwin and Maud, and a different job. It hauled cargo until after World War II when it was converted into a passenger ship. Since 1954, the Victory Chimes has called Maine home, but this year the owner of the ship says it's time to retire it. In a news release this morning, the owner says the ship's sailing career will end in October, citing the difficulty in maintaining the aging vessel, upcoming safety inspections, and the change in the business world since the pandemic. Now, you may recognize the victory chimes from the back of Maine State Quarter. The coin shows the Windjammer sailing past the Pemaquid Point Lighthouse. And when the quarter was unveiled in 2003, organizers arranged for the ship to sail past the lighthouse. But Mother Nature had different, foggier plans. The ship's been through a handful of owners in the past 30 years. And in 1993, our Bob Elliott tagged along for three days with Captain Kip Files. Come ahead, 1200 straight. We started our cruise in Rockland, at least I think it was Rockland. The fog was so thick we could have been anywhere. Some of the passengers were a bit leery about this weather, but not Captain Files. He'd seen it like this before, even laughed about it. There's a fog machine, you just saw it's offshore. <laughs> we pump it up, we like to give everybody the experience of, uh, of the main coast. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, yep, yep, yep. It's a fog machine that comes in. Actually, we haven't left the dock. <laughs> The Victory Chimes is a pretty rugged ship. It was built in 1900 to carry lumber. Now it carries passengers and is the last three-masted schooner on the East Coast. Despite the bad weather, the passengers seem to be enjoying this adventure. I never get tired of sailing in Penobscot Bay. It's great fun to gunk hold and there's something different every time you're out. If you're looking for fast-paced action, you probably won't find it on a main windjammer cruise. There's no gambling, no nightclubs, no rock and roll. What you get on this trip is peace, quiet, and some of the most spectacular scenery on the East Coast. When you can see it. Right now, I think we're lost. We may have been lost, but the captain wasn't. Slowly but surely, he was taking us north by northeast up to Bucks Harbor for the night. Stand by in the main sheet. Scandalize the main. Center board up. We anchored for the night and went below, the theory being that if you can't see anything, you might as well eat. After a big dinner and a good night's sleep, the weather changed. We woke up and found sunshine, blue skies, and wind. We left Bucks Harbor and set sail for Islesboro. Now, paradise can only last for so long before the fates get angry and hit you with stormy weather. We're talking heavy winds, high seas, and all hands on deck, or the minnow would be lost. took a few hits, but nothing too serious, and before long, it was smooth sailing again, at least for a while. You see, there's never a dull moment on a windjammer, and the Victory Chimes is no exception. Just the same, I give this adventure and this ship five stars, because it's like sailing the coast of Maine on a museum. Yes. That was Bob Elliott seeing it all in 1993. The current owner says they're looking for a new home for the Victory Chimes and want the ship to continue to be meaningful for generations to come.